I'm Nathan. And I'm Cecilia. And now it's time for CHS Today. Attention student council members. There will be a mandatory meeting today during SRE in Mrs. Stork's room. We need volunteers for 8th grade tours and we will be planning for next fall. If you can't be in attendance, you must see Mrs. Stork or Mr. Blake. The Seven Mountains celebrate women's scholarship available to any graduating female student from CHS. Each applicant needs to submit a 500 word or less essay on why they deserve the scholarship and also include one recommendation from a teacher, coach, or counselor. This scholarship is due before April 13th. Applications must be emailed to Casey Pitcher at cpitcher5217 at gmail. Check your email or your counselor Google, counselor Google Classroom for the complete criteria. There will be at least two scholarships awarded of $500 to $1,000 each. It's National Drug and Alcohol Facts Week. Let's take a look at what the nurse had to say. Underage drinking is not a good choice. Number one, it is illegal. It makes you do things that you wouldn't do on a typical day if you were not under the influence. Drugs destroy your body. Drugs can destroy your liver, it can destroy your kidneys, it can destroy your lungs. I mean, it just depends on what you're doing, but in all aspects of taking drugs and doing drugs, it is going to do something to your body that you cannot recover. It takes away years of your life. It takes away things that you would be typically able to do um, if you were not under the influence of drugs or if you had done drugs and it's just an after fact, an aftermath, because it takes away from your future. You have such a, a life to live that by doing drugs as a young kid, you are taking that opportunity away from you. I'm not saying that there isn't gonna be opportunities out there for you, but you're going to be less likely to be able to do things that you wanna accomplish in life if you make those choices now. National Honor Society members, Tri Capra Sorority needs help making Easter eggs on Friday and Saturday. See Google Classroom for details and sign up on Google Classroom or Miss Bomber's Wall. CHS is having its annual art show open house at the Fayette County Public Library. The open house will take place on April 4th from 5, from 5 to 6 p.m. Snacks and drinks will be provided. The Freshman Class Council will meet tomorrow in the choir room Columbia 101 during SRA to discuss the spring fundraiser. All freshmen are welcome to attend. Attention all <laughs> ECHS stu senior students. There will be a meeting today in Mr. Thompson's room, JA202. You may attend the meeting at 2.55 p.m. It is very important that every single ECHS senior student attends one of these meetings. Information will be discussed concerning Transferring college credits and Ivy Tech com commencement, you must attend a meeting in order to receive this information. And now here's Mr. Russell with your weekly Russell report. Good morning, CHS. This is Mr. Russell for another uh, weekly Russell report. Hope everyone had a good spring break. Hope everyone was safe. Uh, we're back in school. We got a couple more months and we need to finish strong. Uh, remember, we're in a new nine weeks. You want to be sure that um, you do a nice job on your grades because it averages. Uh, together with your first nine weeks of this semester, which will uh, produce your, your final grade for the semester and determine whether you get your credits or not. Um, also, spring sports have started, so be sure you go out and support your uh, Connersville Spartans and their spring sports and cheer them to victory. Uh, something we need to work on is I've noticed that we are having some students when they're walking the halls with two earbuds in and they can't hear what's going on and that can be a safety issue. Also, there's times when a teacher needs to ask you something or say something and they can't get your attention. So remember, our school rule is you're not allowed to have two earbuds in where you cannot hear what's going on in your surroundings. You can have one in, but as long as you can hear what's going on, then you're okay. On this day in history in 1869, the French in Paris held a comp competition for what monument would celebrate their centenary of the French Revolution. The winning of their competition was Gustave Eiffel. This entry, as you might guess, was the Eiffel Tower. The decision was chosen out of 1 in 100 com competitors, who also submitted and took over 200 construction workers to build it. It has now become a symbol of Paris and partisan attraction. China has decided to restrict visas for the U.S. officials. This was 
in relation of visa restrictions set on Chinese officials for representatives acts against ethnic and religious minority groups. The foreign ministry was stated these changes to take effect within the next few weeks. President Joe Biden is preparing to order the release of nearly 1 million barrels of oil per day from the U.S. oil reserves. The president is hoping for this decision to positively affect the ever-rising oil and gas prices. The follow-up announcement to this decision could come as soon as later today. Lunch for tomorrow will be turkey meatballs marinara on a sub roll with seasoned broccoli, florist peach and pear crisps, and provolone cheese. Other options will include a barbecue rib sandwich, a homemade veggie burger, or a teriyaki pineapple chicken sandwich with oven-baked curly fries. We're looking at another dreary day in the forecast. What can we expect for the weekend, Cheryl? Thanks guys, looking at the weather for today, it's gonna to be cloudy and in the mid 40s. As we head into tonight, we do have a 50% chance of rain and the temperatures are going to drop just a little bit. Looking at tomorrow morning, we do have a 30% chance of snow because the temperatures are going to drop some more. Looking into tomorrow, we do have that 40% chance of snow again. The temperatures are going to be anywhere from the mid 40s to the low 30s. Looking at Saturday, we have a 40% chance of rain because the temperatures are going to raise, so we won't see snow, but we will see some rain. On Sunday, that rain and snow will both go away, and we're going to see a little bit of sun, and the temperatures are going to get up to the mid-50s. That's all I have for the weather. Now back to the desk. Now over to Emily with the sports. Thanks, guys. Last night, varsity baseball defeated the Richmond Red Devils 1-0. Red Devils won to nothing. The Spartans recorded four hits on the night from Braden Pearson, Braden Likens, Chance Bentley, and Gavin Lynch. In the top of the seventh, the Spartan defense held strong with two runners on base, putting the Devils in position to score, but Brady Cloyd turned a double play to hold them off, and pitcher Gavin Pearson fielded a hard grounder at the mound for the final out of the game. The Spartans are now 1-0 on the season and will next play Monday against Batesville. There will be a girls basketball meeting today in Coach Harder's room, Jennings 232. You will discuss limited contact and summer plans. If you cannot attend, please stop by Coach Harder's room. There will be a meeting in Coach Brown's room tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for those interested in playing basketball next year. There will be a football call-out meeting on Monday, April 4th at 2.50 in the lecture hall. That's all for the sports. Now back to the desk for birthdays. Birthdays for today are William Charker, Parker Sweet, Brooklyn Hudson, Brooklyn Sherwood, Brennan Bauer, and Bryce Bauer. The only birthday for tomorrow is Paige Pearson. Happy birthday. It's almost Friday. So Cecilia and I are best friends, and that's all for CHS Today.